Hey guys, this is Scott Leroy, Scott Leroy Marketing, coming in for another weekly tip. And today's tip is again on DocuSign, and this way it's how to actually send what they call an envelope. All right, so this is basically how you're going to be able to send all of your transactions or your documents over to other people to sign. All right, so in this case, I'm going to go once again through the opportunity section. All right, so I'll click on an opportunity on here, click on that opportunity, and then we're always going to go to this document section. All right, so under the document section, this is obviously where we can add and sign our documents. But more importantly, we can also click on go to transactions. All right, and this is going to take us over to our DocuSign account. Now, if it doesn't say go to transactions, it might say start transaction. And that means that you just haven't clicked on it quite yet. Once you click on it, then it'll say go to transaction. All right, so this is going to take me over to realestate.docusign.com. I'm currently in my little DocuSign room, as they call it. All right, so if you're used to dot loop, this is basically the equivalent of a loop at the end of the day. All right, so really it's just a folder of all the items that you want to house for that particular opportunity. All right, so in this case, I've got my details, my documents, my people, my envelopes, and my history. All right, so here's the document on here that I've got ready to go. All right, so now I can actually go over to people if I want to add a person. Now, if you run into an issue on the invite section, just to give you a heads up, trying to add inside like an email address, for instance, just to give you a heads up on this one. All right, and then if I add inside name, transaction sign, and whatnot. All right, so this is the typical way where you'll be able to add someone to the actual room in this case. But if you notice when you click on select a role, if it doesn't have the option on here to add inside a role, all right, so if I add inside like another one for an external person, all right, so as you can see, your company administrator has not yet set up external roles. All right, so in this case, if that happens, you might not be able to click this. So if that does occur, that's okay. You can still send out the envelopes. All right, so if I click on envelopes, this is basically how you can send out documents. All right, so if you notice, electronically signed documents. E-signatures powered by DocuSign allows you to electronically sign documents that are part of your transaction. All right, select the document in the room that needs to be signed, and the people will who <laughs> need to sign them. Sorry, not will. All right, so I'm going to create a new envelope on here. All right, the envelope name will automatically come up. So here's please DocuSign. That's basically what it's also going to display inside the little subject line too. I can choose any room documents. I can use a template or I can even upload my own. So if I click on room documents, I'll only have one. So I'm going to select this real quick. All right, obviously I can add inside additional ones. And then I can add recipients on here, whether it's room participants or just an email address to someone I want to add in. All right, so I'm going to add inside that person on here. So I'm going to add myself real quick. Oh, I think I did that backwards. Here we go. I did type in the email first. There we go. So I've got the name, I've got the email on here, and now I can specify whether they need to sign, whether they need to view, just to receive a copy, or I can even specify the recipient on here too. So more than likely, you're going to leave it as need to sign. All right, and then on the more section, I can even add inside a private message or something pretty cool. You can add inside an access authentication code. All right, so you can actually give them a code and say, hey, you need to put this inside in order to actually view this. All right, then if I want to add inside additional recipients, once again, I can do that too. Now, the cool part about this is as the sender, you automatically receive a copy of it, but then I can actually specify over here when they're going to receive this. So in this case, it's going to go to Scott first, then it would go to this person second once Scott is completed. All right, so there's something that Scott needs to do first before, you know, the next person's added in. All right, then they wouldn't receive this until that is completed. All right, so in this case, I'm just sending it to one person. All right, so here's the envelope name on here. That's also the same thing as the subject. Obviously, you can change either one on here. All right, so maybe I want to change this envelope name to be Bailey Smith dash buyer. All right, I can change the email subject. I can put inside a nice little email message. You know, hello, Bailey. Please sign this document when possible for your home purchase. I think she was a buyer. There we go. All right, so I'll leave it as please DocuSign. You can obviously change that though. All right, and then in this case, we can click on the next option. There is a save and close if we want to come back to it, or we even have actions on here too where we can copy or delete. All right, so I'm going to click the next button on this. X out of that real quick. All right, so it's thinking right now. Awesome. Now it's going to take us over where we can actually go through and add inside different fields if we need to. All right. So I'm using this obviously just as a blank PDF as an example. All right. But if I want to then add inside something, I can add inside a signature. I can add inside initials on here too. Name, email, company, title, text, checkbox, drop down, radio options. 
Um, no payment items, but I can add inside different formulas, attachments, whatever it might need to be. All right, so if I need to add inside a name, for instance, I can click on it, put it wherever it needs to go. All right, and then on here, as you can see, I can change this out, whether it's full name, first name, last name, whatever I prefer. All right, then of course, I can even put inside a date, for instance, or maybe I need to just put inside text. All right, so I'll put inside text on here. Once again, you can drag this out too to make it bigger or more smaller. All right, whatever you prefer. All right, completely up to you in this case. All right, then of course, I can even do a recipient preview. All right, so I can see exactly what it's going to look like when they actually view this. All right, and then here's what it's going to look like on a desktop, tablet, or on a mobile device. All right, so that way it'll automatically have the name on there for them. So this is automatically pulling over that name. And then, of course, where they can add inside their information. All right, so then if I click the Send button, it's automatically sending, and voila. All right, your envelope has been successfully sent. All right, so this will automatically send over to that person. So let me see if I can pull that up real quick for you guys. All right, so I went ahead and popped out my email for you so you can take a look at it. So this is what it's going to look like. So Scott Leroy via DocuSign. All right, please DocuSign. There's that subject. Scott Leroy sent you a document to review and sign. All right, so here you go. Hello, Bailey. Please sign this document when possible for your home purchase. They can click on Review Document, and then it'll allow them to go through and sign and fill out anything right away. All right, so that's how simple it is to actually send a document all right, from DocuSign and even how to doctor some of these items, including a blank PDF. So there you go. So that is your DocuSign tip for the day.